What is going on Nintendo fans? My name is Blaze and uh, today I want to talk about the Nintendo Switch Lite. Nintendo just revealed it uh, yesterday uh, to the public. There uh, is a new Nintendo Switch coming out which is uh, more dedicated to uh, handheld gaming. Um, so we'll talk about it. Uh, what is the Nintendo Switch Lite and do you need to buy it? Uh, let's let's discuss. So I think that uh, first let's, let's get the technical things out of the way and talk about what the Nintendo uh, Switch Lite is. Um, it is a dedicated handheld device, just like I mentioned a second ago. And we'll, we'll get some screenshots up here for you too, so you can see uh, what we're talking about exactly. But it's a dedicated handheld handheld device um, in the Nintendo Switch line. The compatibility of the games are said to be any game that features handheld mode are compatible. So. My understanding is that all of the games feature handheld mode, so I don't I don't know what they mean uh, by that. I, I I am not predicting any games to come out that do not use handheld mode, so I guess we'll see uh, what they're talking about. But as of right now, I'm pretty sure it's most of the games, if not all. If I'm wrong and you know of one, definitely put it in the comments because uh, I cannot think of any right now. Um, this light, uh, this switch light will also not connect to the TV. So it is, it is a dedicated handheld platform. There's no TV connectivity, no docking, nothing like that. You can only play it in handheld mode. Um, the Joy-Con controllers are built into the console, as you can see. Uh, there is no uh, removal of, of the of the controller of the sides of the console. So the the Joy-Con controllers are built into the um, console. Um, the left side, uh, the left side Joy-Con or the left side controller uh, features a D-pad also. So we've got instead of the buttons like the Switch has up here, we've got a D-pad, which I think is pretty cool. I, I, I almost kind of prefer that, but um, I don't think necessarily it's a requirement for um, upgrading the Joy-Cons right now. They, they're pretty cool, but I don't know if I uh, would need that. I just think it's kind of a neat little thing. <clears throat> Um, the other thing they put on there is there is no uh, infrared motion camera and no HD rumble. So HD rumble was one of the bigger things they talked about at E3 um, last year when they revealed the Switch as uh, a feature that, that you know, games were, would be able to use. Um, so far none of the games have used it and I'm pretty sure they're going to try to get away from the whole HD rumble thing. Um, I think it has rumble in the console but you know what I might be wrong on that. I'm, I'm going to say it does not at this time. Uh, just because I, I don't think I think they showed off a little screenshot of the Joy-Con like shaking, but they didn't show the the console shaking. So as far as I know, um, it does not feature a rumble in any way. Um, again, if I'm wrong, I'll I'll pin that to the top of, of things I got wrong in this video. But I'm pretty sure there's no rumble in that. Um, it also uh, they boasted that you can actually you can connect other wireless control controllers to it too. So. Because there's no there's no HD rumble or infrared motion camera, uh, games like One Two Switch would not uh, function on the uh, they would not function properly on the Switch Lite without a uh, Joy-Con controller. So you can still connect Joy-Con controllers. You can still connect the um, the Pro controller and the Pokeball Plus accessory as well. So that they're they're not limiting limiting those functionalities at all. Uh, NFC is also built in, Bluetooth of course is built in, and uh, gyro controls are also built into the Switch Lite. So uh, there's also a slightly improved battery life on the Switch Lite, so we've, we've got a slightly improved battery life for this console. They wouldn't talk about exactly how much how much longer it would be, but it, there is a slightly uh, improved battery life. The console's lighter, uh, and from what I understand, it's significantly lighter than the uh, than the Switch, the regular Switch. So that's kind of a plus. Uh, just looking at the at the screenshots of um, uh, the the presenter holding holding the switch, it I mean it looks like it's lighter. It doesn't look any smaller, and from what I understand, it's not really it's not smaller um, by any means. So we can look at this here and kind of see that it's it's a little bit maybe a little bit smaller, but it's not necessarily super small. Um, there's no kickstand, so you cannot uh, put it up on a kickstand, prop it up on your desk. You could probably use a, a, an attachment, something like this, like a little, you know, uh, stand, uh, plastic stand to get at like the dollar store or something to, you know, to prop it up on something if you did want to have something like that. Uh, but there is no kickstand on the back of it. To be fair, the kickstand on the Switch is kind of flimsy anyway, so um, no, no real loss there. 
Um, it does have a 720p resolution, which is identical to the Switch in handheld mode, so no, no difference in resolution there. Uh, there is no automatic brightness adjustment on the, on the Switch Lite either. There is a manual brightness adjuster, so if you want to adjust the brightness settings on the Switch Lite, you can, but it will not do that for you automatically. Uh, and then the only other things to talk about is that it's coming out September 20th. It's going to have, of course, these three colors that you see, gray, yellow, and um, turquoise. And there's also a special Pokemon Sword and Shield edition that's coming out as well. So that's going to come out in November for the, uh, for the Pokemon edition, November 8th. But the other ones are coming out September 20th. So um, do you need it? Uh, is this necessary? So that's a very valid question. I, I think the answer really lies in... Um, it, it's it's a person by person basis. Uh, me personally, I think it it's cool. It looks great. I think it's going to be uh, something that's really more for people who play the game and who play their games in handheld mode on a regular basis. I don't. I play most, if not all, of my games in docked mode. Uh, very rarely do I do I play anything in handheld mode. Um, I think there have been nights where I sit in bed and play um, Mario Maker, but I, I wouldn't say that I play it on a regular basis. It's just, it's just every now and then. Um, I don't take it anywhere for fear of losing it or getting stolen. I don't uh, I don't play it uh, anywhere but home, and uh, it, it just is what it is. So for me personally, I'm definitely not going to get a Switch Lite. But to be honest, it's probably not built for me anyway. Um, for those of you who have a Switch and you and you really only play your Switch on the go or you take it with you or um, you, you don't really have a TV to plug it into um, and it's not a big deal, then, then maybe the, the, the Switch Lite is for you and I think that's a, that's a great... I think there's a large number of people who actually do play their Switch um, in handheld mode on, on the majority of the time. In fact, I, I did a, a Twitter poll earlier today um, uh, and someone else was conducting the poll, and I voted. You know, they they ask, do you do you play your Switch in handheld mode or do you play it uh, in docked mode? And I voted docked, and it was basically split 50-50. Like there was no there was no real clear cut winner. So this to me is a great affordable option for people who don't necessarily need all the bells and whistles of a regular Nintendo Switch. And I think it's going to be one ninety nine also, so it's cheaper. It's a cheaper option than uh, you know getting the, the, the regular switch and I think um, my, my only real concern about it is uh, my joy cons right now the analog stick on one side is like drifting and it, it's it's you know my character's moving when I'm not when I'm not really trying to move anywhere and it's really hard to aim in fortnite and all, all kinds of bad stuff is happening with with the joy con I can get a new one I just haven't done it yet uh, so I wonder how they would handle that on this console. If, if that does start happening, what do you do? Um, that's the only thing that I can think that would be that would be concerning, but at the same time, I don't necessarily think that it's uh, gonna be an issue. I'm sure they found ways to fix it. Removing the HD rumble um, probably allowed them to tweak some things to make, to make it so that would happen less often. I'm sure they're aware of all of those problems. So, um, is it worth it? I, th I think it's really just up to the consumer. It's up to you as, as, a, as an individual to decide whether or not you want it. I personally am not going to buy it um, just because it, it doesn't suit my needs and there's really no reason to transfer all of my data from one switch to the other. Even if I was using this, because um, I know I'm going to get no another switch for Animal Crossing because I want to have two towns. It's going to be expensive, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I, I just I want to have both switches able to dock into the TV and if I can't do that um, then I don't really want to uh, to buy a switch that doesn't offer that that functionality so um, you know I stream on, on my twitch channel I stream Animal Crossing so for me I want to be able to show both towns and if I can't do that it's not it's not useful so um, again if, if you're if you play it in handheld mode and that's really all you're going to do or that's what you want to do that's great this is this is the switch for you I I like the the sword and shield version that we're seeing here but I also I kind of like the the yellow and the turquoise the gray is actually kind of cool too but I think if I was gonna get one I'd probably get the turquoise it's one of my favorite colors and it just looks really cool so um, anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below um, one thing I did hear, and I want to I want to talk about it a little bit, is I did hear that Nintendo filed some FCC trademarks for new hardware um, 
that people are thinking is related to a, a switch, like uh, an upgraded switch. So if that is going to happen, I'm going to get that one uh, for sure because I want to make sure that I have all the bells and whistles of a Nintendo Switch um, with extra content, extra features, whatever the case is. I want to make sure that I can get all that stuff. And if um, Nintendo is doing an upgraded Switch, we'll probably hear about it. I'm guessing before Animal Crossing comes out, but time will tell on that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear it. Um, I do read all of them. If you haven't noticed, um, Animal Crossing information is very scarce right now. So as soon as we get more information, I'll be back with more videos for Animal Crossing. Got a couple of ideas still that I want to I want to get out there. I'm still working on a couple of projects for Animal Crossing. So lots of stuff coming up. But I do want to thank you guys for watching and hitting that subscribe button. And uh, I will catch you all on the flippity flip.